Here we have 12.4, solving a word problem involving geometry and a system of nonlinear equations. So it says the perimeter of a rectangle is 21 centimeters and its area is 26.24 centimeters. Find the length and the width. So basically you have two equations. You have one equation for the perimeter. So 2L plus 2W equals 21. But then you have another equation for the area, which is that length times width equals 26.24. This is the systems. Okay. And so we already know from the previous topic that when you have a system, you just basically use substitution. And you can choose which letter to substitute. Let them have an exponent, so it really wouldn't matter. Um, I don't mind fractions temporarily, so I'm just going to choose to take this one and divide both sides by maybe W. doesn't matter which one. Um, it'll all work itself out regardless of which letter you chose to solve for. I could have chosen for L up here and got that by itself. I could have chosen W and got that by itself. I could have chosen to get L by itself like I did, or I could have chosen W to get by itself. It really does not matter as long as you don't do anything wrong um, the rest of it's just gonna play out so once you get one variable by itself since I use the bottom equation I'm gonna take this and plug it in L into the top equation right there so my top equation is gonna be 2 times 26.24 over W plus 2W equal to 21 I don't like fractions, so I'm going to go ahead and multiply by W to every term to get rid of that denominator. What is 2 times 24.26? Or I'm sorry, 26.24 times 2. So this is 52.48. <coughs> Excuse me, this becomes 2W squared. And this becomes 21w. I do have a square, so I'm going to minus this over, and I'm going to put the order. So the w squared, positive 2w squared first, then the negative 21w, and then the 52.48 equals to 0. Now, I will not try to factor this, especially with that decimal, so I'm going to just use the quadratic formula. So I get negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So let's see. We get 21 plus or minus 21 squared minus 4 times 2 times 52.48 gives me the square root of 21.16 over 4. which gives me 21 plus or minus 4 plus 6 over 4. So I have two answers here. I have 21 min or plus 4.6 divided by 4, which gives me 6.4. And then I also have 21 um, minus 4.6 divided by 4 which gives me 4.1. So what are the links that go together? So then I would have 26.24 over 6.4, and I would have 26.24 over 4.1. So this is what we get. We get W equals 6.4, and L equal to 4.1, or we get W equal to 4.1, and, and L equal to 6.4. So these are the two values that we end up with. Which one makes more sense is really the answer, because the numbers are the same, but which one do I put with L, and which one do I put with W? Remember, when you're talking about and length, the length should be the long side. So between these two, the L should be a bigger value, and it isn't here, okay? However, the 6.4 is bigger than the 4.1 over here, so this is your final answer. <coughs> Excuse me.
And so pay special attention to where the word length is and where the word width is because your larger number is going to go in for length and your smaller number is going to go in for width. Okay. Now we do have another version of what happens when they give you a different kind of scenario. So again, I'm going to draw my little rectangle and it says the perimeter of the rectangle is this. So I still have that same equation, 2L plus 2W equals 50.5. But then it tells me the diagonal length is 18 meters. That's this. So you have your width, you have your length, and I know that this is 18. Well, this is a right triangle, and I can use my Pythagorean theorem to come up with another equation. I know that the one side squared plus the other side squared should equal the hypotenuse squared, okay? And I've already mentioned, um, what is 18 squared? 324. So when we're solving a system, and this is my system, you always want to solve for a variable that doesn't have an exponent on it. So I'm going to actually choose the top equation this time and try to get one of these um, <clears throat> functions by them or letters by themselves. So it doesn't matter whether you choose to get L by itself or you choose to get W by itself, it makes no difference. So I'm going to actually minus 2W on both sides so that I end up with um, 2L equal to 50.4 minus 2W. Then to completely get L by itself, I'm going to divide by 2. So I get 25.2 minus W. And then since I didn't use the bottom equation, this is going to get substituted in for L. So the bottom equation becomes W squared plus 25.2 minus W squared equal to 24. And so if I FOIL this out, I will get 635.04 minus 50.4W plus W squared. Again, if you need to work out the FOILing part on your own um, on the side, then go ahead and do that. But you should end up with these th three terms after you FOILed. Then I do have W squared, so I am going to minus the 324 over just to get it all on one side. And I'm going to combine my like terms. So I have 2 W squared minus 50.4 W plus um, 311.04 equal to 0. So then I'm going to solve for W using the quadratic formula. So negative plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a. <clears throat> I'm going to come up here. So I get 50.4 plus or minus the square root of something over 4. So negative 50.4 squared minus 4 times 2 times 311.04 gives me 51.84. What's the square root of that? It is 7.2 over 4. So I have 50.4 plus 7.2 divided by 4, which is 14.4. And then I have 50.4 minus 7.2 divided by 4 is 10.8. So let's find the links that correspond to this. And I am going to use this equation here where the L is already by itself. So I get L equal to 25.2 minus 14.4 or L equal to 25.2 minus 10.8. Here I get... 10.8 and here I get 14.4 so think about that again here you have a width of 14.4 and a length of 10.8 and here you have a width of 10.8 and a length of 14.4 which one makes more sense considering that width should be shorter and length should be longer this is the one that makes sense this one does not okay the length must be longer than the width value. 
So when you go to type it in, you're going to type in for the width that that's 10.8 meters, and then for the length, you're going to type in the 14.4 meters. And make sure you type in the correct one in the correct box.